Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Peep game. All right. So, all right. So, um, I just got to be completely honest with you. I think I've had enough of this shit with uh, Jake Paul. Um, I've seen enough. And, you know, there's no, well, the jewelry's still out. Nah, we have a verdict. Jake Paul isn't a real fighter. And to be honest with you, he isn't very good. You know, I just see a lot of things that would show me that a half decent boxer with with decent training and a decent boxing background and pedigree would really hurt that dude. And I think, you know, I think Jake Paul knows it. And I think the charade is ran his course. And I know Showtime gonna try to make it look like it was better than what it really was and they tried to make it look like it was you know some kind of you know some kind of test that you know Jake Paul proved that he should be taken seriously as a fighter after what I saw tonight I further don't respect him as a fighter because look we all see what's going on and we need to stop playing these damn games okay He's not that good. The only people that believe in him is probably his ridiculous YouTube fans. Okay. I just saw a lot of things and a lot of signs that showed me, like I said, you put a half-decent boxer in the ring with him, they're going to lay his ass out. And I think Jake Paul knew it. He That's why he was saying he got to evaluate this and he may just chill for a minute. Yeah, you should chill. Because somebody might eventually chill you. You know, I could see him getting slapped. Like I said, can you imagine if that was Canelo in the ring with him or somebody like Art the Better BF or some, what they would have did to him or David Benavides? They would have hurt that dude. And they would have hurt him bad. You know, they would have hurt him bad. And like I said before, um, a lot of people thought that Tyrone Woodley won the fight. A lot of people coming forward saying that. Me, myself, it's kind of funny. I didn't look at it in that way as I'm judging the fight like how I did, you know, the previous fight, you know, the Pacquiao fight. I looked at it as, you know, what it was, a celebrity boxing match. And I didn't really, you know, I didn't really, you know, try to score it. I just was watching it, but I refused to give this fight some promotion. Now, let's see if they really going to run it back because, you know, Jake was talking like he don't want to do this no more. And I told you guys months ago, I saw the writing on the wall. I said the first time he really gets nailed and he got nailed in this fight, he was going to have second thoughts about how how long he want to want to do this for the long term you you heard him say well you know i'm only 24 you know i only been doing this for 18 months and so you know yeah he knows he doesn't want to get hurt he want to be able to have all his scruples and his marbles intact and i think that's a smart move on that kid because if he keep playing with this boxing shit he gonna get hurt and he you know I'm just laughing at the fact that he had the audacity to try to call out, you know, Tank, another small dude, and the audacity to, like, try to insinuate he wanted to fight Canelo. Canelo would hurt him. When I say Canelo would hurt him, and it won't even be, it, it, it won't even be pretty. You know, it won't even be pretty. I just think that people know and seen that... This is just a shit show. And one dude, he broke it down. Uh, he broke it down beautifully. He said, well, he see the good and the bad, but to me it's more bad than it is good. They might be bringing the casual fans to boxing, so we, so we may think, but based off their pay-per-view numbers, I think not. You know, now remember... Keep in mind, he had a fight in in Atlanta. 
Now, I want you to hear the key word when he said, well, this is my first time actually fighting in front of a crowd because I told you that fight that they had in Atlanta, nobody was at that damn fight. Nobody came to that fight that they had at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. They said it might have been like, <laughs> man, they said it might have been like 300 people at that damn fight. And most of those 300 people were fa fa were were. Uh, friends of the the participants, the artists, and people like that. So, you know, I'm just saying. And like I said, I don't want to see the kid get seriously hurt, but I do want to see him get beat down. You know, because this dude then came across talking like he, he should be respected as a fighter, but yet he won't fight a real fighter. I mean, what is it going to take? And I just think people are tired of seeing this. I think this is ran thin with people now. I mean, it's ran thin with me. I kind of was over with the Ben Askren fight. But I predicted all this stuff was going to happen. I told y'all the first time he really got nailed that he was going to have second thoughts about now. All of a sudden, he having second thoughts about continuing his boxing career. Um, you know, him and his brother talked about, well, you had your chance and all this stuff. You know, you didn't win. And then, you know, he had to say, well, I get the tattoo if you run it back. Uh, I ain't getting no tattoo until I see a contract, which I think they're going to try to find a way to get out of this. I think they're going to find a way to get out of this. And I think Jake Paul is going to probably not fight for a while unless he sees a, probably possibly a major payday. He might go in there and get his ass beat and then leave it at that. But I, I don't know. Because, okay, let's say he does fight a, a real fighter and he gets molly -wop. Then everything that people then speculated about him will be true. Like, see, I told you this dude wasn't a real fighter, so you, you don't know. He may not come back. But, you know, like a lot of people were saying, they don't think he'll ever fight a real actual fighter after what happened last night. It wasn't no, no moral victory for him, you know, going the distance. He was supposed to knock this dude out. I know Showtime tried to sell it as, um, you know, he, he, you know, proved himself tonight. Nah, not really. Because he was doing a lot of backpedaling. But, you know, you know, um, you only get accused of running when you black. Yeah, I went there. But... This has to stop. I don't want to see this anymore. I just want this to go away. I've had enough of this dude. Real talk. And for boxing's sake. For boxing's sake. I, I, I think I know that no promoter is unintelligent enough to put him in the ring with a killer. Or a half decent boxer because, like I say, Jake Paul is going to end up in the emergency room. For real. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.